Okay, I got a question from a brand new Moto user. New to 3D, this is his first foray into 3D with Moto. And a lot of you guys that's used Moto, even just a little bit, might think, come on, you can do this. Just a little bit of thinking is all it takes. But I'm going to help him. He's emailed me with help on making a linked chain. And like a chain you would buy anywhere. A chain you would chain something down with. And anybody who's used 3D application before can probably figure out how to make a simple chain really fast but whereas this guy's brand new and I like the fella he's been really nice to me and he's really trying to learn this I'm just gonna give him a cheap generic chain real fast so he can throw it into his scene now this is nothing special and anybody who's used 3D will probably be able to do this on their own no big deal but since you're a complete um, newbie to Modo I'm here to help so if you're wanting to make a chain let's start out with a Taurus I'm going to drag me out of Taurus here. Now, I've set my sides to 8, I mean to 7. I've set my segments to 5. And I've set my hole size to about 3.2, 3.5. Like that right there. And if we set our sides to 7, our segments to 5, and our hole size to 5, we have this nice little circle. And I can grab the middle. And I can drag out on it here like that. With the space bar to drop my tool, click to deselect. Now we have this cool little circle. If I hit my tab key to go out of sub D mode, we have this here. So I'm going to touch this up a little bit by selecting my inner edge and double clicking, hitting the R key to scale it. Let's scale it out a little bit like that. Now let's hit double click the outer edge, the R key. Let's do the same thing. We'll click the middle and drag it in like so. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now it looks like we got us a basic shape. Now we can go ahead and hit the R key and scale this thing as a whole. So I'm going to scale it in like this and scale it up like this. Spacebar drop the tool. Now we have this cool little oval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to polygon mode click it. I'm going to hit command C. Then I'm going to hit command V to paste it. Or I got this little um, script that says paste and select, which is the same thing as hitting command V and then the W key. Okay. And I'm going to move this down. Like so. Hit the E key to rotate it. Let's rotate it around. Like so. W key to adjust the movement. Bring it down until it touches. Okay, now we got our first two little couple links. Spacebar drops the tool, and you can hit the Q. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to select everything. Command C, Command V to paste it. W to move it. Let's move it up here like this. And what do we got here? We got the beginnings of a chain. When I go out of polygon mode, you can see here. We've got a cool little chain link that you can go in and detail all you want. I made one ahead of time here that was a little bit longer and bigger, you know, right here. So you can do these cheap, fast, generic chains and throw them all around your scene for detail. You can use them like this in sub-D mode where they're round, okay? Or you can go in and detail them with loop slices and stuff and make them a little more sharp. And you, or you can just leave them in polygon mode. But if you want them to look like this while in sub D, you're going to need to go in and brace it up with loop slices and stuff. And that's covered in other videos. But there's your cheap generic chain that you can do, whether it be round links or polygonal links. It's up to you. It's a fast, dirty chain. I hope this has helped you, man. We'll see you next time.